Good afternoon. Uh, I'm so excited to welcome you all to the Emory Composer Society's uh, first in-person concert. Uh, which, uh, which will be four original pieces composed by member composers and performed by Emory's finest student musicians. Uh, before we start, I just want to thank a few people for making this whole event possible. Um, I want to thank Emory Arts, who was generous enough to award us a project grant to make some of this equipment and this whole concert space possible. Um, <laughs> uh, I want to thank Emory University's Department of Music uh, for giving us both marketing, planning, logistics support, and for lending us music stands. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, there was no room in the budget for those. <laughs> Uh, and I want to thank all the members of the Emory Composer Society's Executive Board who worked so hard to make this event possible. Uh, my name is Solomon Kim. I'm the president and founder. And I'd like to say what that means is I just send a lot of emails telling people what needs to be done. Uh, but really, a lot of the work that went into this, uh, rehearsing, um, selecting scores, was coordinated by members of our artistic committee, which is headed by Eli Parrish in the back. <laughs> the logistics behind this event, uh, folding chairs, banners, marketing, uh, was headed by our community engagement committee, which is headed by Jacqueline Chen, who's unfortunately outside checking people in right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll keep my remarks short, but I just want to expand briefly on our theme of chamber connections. Something that we unfortunately lost during the pandemic was our ability to connect in person with other people. And musicians, I think, feel this especially deeply because our whole practice revol uh, revolves around connecting to people through music, uh, connecting to people verbally, non-verbally. Uh, and so what we want to show with this concert and what we are hoping to kind of display is the power of music when we can connect in person in this space. Uh, so I want to thank everyone for being here today. I want to thank our entire staff, our entire team for making this possible. And with that, I will get out of the way and let the music start. said, I am the Artistic Vice President of Emory Composer Society, but today I am also one of the future composers. My piece today is titled Il Lampo, which in Italian translates to the lightning. Um, this piece features a solo soprano sang by one of my dear friends, Corinne Lisker, a beautiful voice, and I am sure you're all going to agree. Um, this piece uh, is based off of a poem written by Giovanni Pascoli, who is a romantic Italian poet. Um, and before I begin, I'd like to read you uh, the English translation of the poem. This is the lightning, and the earth and sky showed themselves as they were. The earth panting, livid, and a jolt, the sky burden, tragic, undone. White, white, in the silent tumult, a house appeared, disappeared suddenly like an eye that enlarged, astonished, opened and closed itself in the pitch black night. I hope you enjoy Il Lampo.
is going to be uh, a piece for clarinet trio uh, written by myself called Resolves Two. And just to expand a little bit on the motivations and the background of the piece, uh, it's kind of conceived to uh, explore a lot of the musical influences that I've been looking at over the past few months, just to name a few. The blues and jazz, American minimalism, like uh, Philip Glass, Steve Reich, uh, and then of course the work of French composers like Debussy or Ravel. So what you kind of have there is an attempt to synthesize a lot of those uh, very disparate styles uh, into a piece for a small chamber ensemble. I hope you enjoy.
Richard Jensen, and I am the composer of Lullaby. Uh, when I first started working on this in September, it was because I heard of this entire event held by Composer Society, and I was really excited to be a part of it. But I did not know anything about music theory or composing, and I just tried it for fun. So I am an amateur to all of this. But I really wanted to do a waltz or something in three, because that was the music that I was listening to at the time, and I really enjoyed it. So. Uh, I made it in three, and I also wanted to have distinct sections just to try different things out and experiment a little bit and see what I could do. So I came up with this. This is a lullaby. <laughs>
Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is CJ, and the last piece I'll be playing is my piece called Viverosis. You know, as they say, they save the best for last, and here we are. Um, the title of my piece, Viverosis, is basically an obscure emotion word that means the desire to care less about things. Many of my composition peers, they have a very streamlined process for how they make their stuff. Maybe they'll come up with an idea, and then they'll put like something together. But for me, something that I like to do is I like to start the piece and let the piece direct the flow of itself, you know? So one day, I was, really, I was, just, like, I was just at my computer and I um, plugged in my iPhone charger. And you know, the sound that happens when you do that, the bum, 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 that happens when you plug in something. And then I unplugged it and it was like, bum, bum, bum. And I'm like, you know what? What if I make a piece out of that? And I did. So, I really hope you enjoy my piece.
thank you everyone so much for coming out today. That is, uh, that concludes the music that we have for you today. Uh, but after this, there will be a short outdoor reception. We know it's a bit cold, but uh, for COVID safety and just to keep everyone safe, uh, we are asking that everyone eats outside and keeps masks on inside. Uh, so now that I've gotten all that boring stuff out of the way, I just wanted to take in another opportunity to thank uh, the people that made this possible. Uh, first, let's have another round of applause for the performers. It seems I ran away as soon as I said that. Um, and uh, as for another population who is not here, let's have another hand for all the team members uh, from ECS. I want to once again thank uh, the folks from Emory Arts and the Department of Music for helping to make this concert possible. Uh, just a little personal note, this concert uh, that we just had has been something I've been thinking about and looking forward to since I started the club. Um, last spring, you know, we were still very much virtual or like very limited hybrid. And uh, this type of gathering was not really possible. And so I'm just so happy that we've gotten to the point where things like this are beginning to happen again. And that's thanks to the hard work of everyone uh, at Emory University and within uh, the faculty and the staff that are working to make this possible. Uh, we're very grateful that we had the opportunity to use this venue. Uh, which is actually uh, first an old frat house and second uh, a current like arts and media dorm um, and so this is the exact type of event that we're trying to make happen in this place um, and I want to thank all the Office of Residence Life people who are not here right now <laughs> for helping make that possible logistically. So now for the obligatory uh, donation request. Uh, we are a new student organization. Uh, we're getting chartered right now, and we are operating uh, self-generated, uh, fundraised, and grant funding. Uh, so if you enjoy the concert and you would like to see more of these happen in the future, uh, please consider donating outside via Venmo or cash uh, to support future event work, to support uh, venue reservations, and equipment um, and to support the work that we are doing with the Emory Composer Society. Our goal is to grow this into an organization that can ultimately help anyone interested in composing, in music creation, uh, in music technology, uh, make that skill happen for them and to connect them to opportunities like this, to develop artistically, uh, to have opportunities to showcase their work and to have opportunities to connect with like-minded students. Uh, people like Richard, one of our composers who uh, didn't have formal composition training, we believe uh, are a key population here at Emory that we want to kind of activate within our music sphere. And so we appreciate any support that you can give towards that goal. Um, with that, I think outside we're ready. Um, and so uh, thank you again for coming here today. Uh, we're so happy with how this turned out and with your support. Uh, and we are looking forward to spending some time with you at the reception. Thank you.